Hi friends, welcome to another exciting video. In this video, we will go ahead and implement edit functionality to edit the inventory list. So in our previous video, uh, we did able to build this inventory controller and then display this inventory data from our inventory tables. What we did, if we go open our solution, you do see our inventory controller right here. And then we have models for our inventory table right there right and we created those table and then we are getting data from our database so here you can see uh, we have uh, edit icon over here so if i click on that and it's not allowing us to edit it just click a stop here let me make it bigger for you and let's go back to our inventory controller here i'll go copy this and paste it here just keep name here edit and when we are going to edit we're going to receive the inventory id okay so i'll put int id and let's open our js over here so here you do see our edit icon over here so whenever user click it pass the data with the id right so and then from there it will call our inventory edit functionality right so which is here under uh, this controller so whenever it is uh, so whenever it is calling this function we need to go ahead and get the data for this id from our inventory table okay so here you type our inventory to edit equal to context dot inventories dot first or default so here uh, we are checking if the inventory item is available with the id here right uh, if it is then it will be loaded here and then we'll go ahead and pass this data to our view let's create a view here edit click on add uh, so friends uh, here is the view for our edit page so i'll remove this line i'll go ahead and copy the code and paste it here to save our time uh, so friends let me go ahead and paste the code here so this is the code for view so let me run it first and then i will go ahead and explain click on run sign in there here the user click submit click drop down and here we do have inventories right there click continue so friends you can see this is our inventory list uh, if you haven't seen my previous video how we did build this page and how we uh, get the inventory list please do watch that video okay so here you can see uh, we have a edit icon so once we click on edit icon right it will call our uh, edit function so let me put a debug point here to see if it does call here or not so let me click on edit and you do see it did hit our debug point so click on continue so now you can see this is the view for our edit page and this is the name of the item that we are going to edit so let's go to open our edit page click on edit here so here is the code for our edit page okay so let me explain how this code is working uh, make it a small uh, we do have a div right there right uh, you can see this is the title here the edit inventory and now uh, you can see uh, we have a, a forum right there right and then we this forum will submit to our edit function okay and here you do see uh, div for our uh, this name field right there and then this div for this purchase price field name okay and we do have another big div here right you can see it uh, under this div uh, we have a one row and we divide that row into two column right here um, one column is for quantity right this is our current quantity for this price and this is for uh, this here so here you can see label is add more and then the field for this one is this right and this is the button to click to add or subtract from our current quantity so what what i mean if you click on 100 right you click this it will add here to one five 
right? And then uh, if you put minus sign and do five and click on this, uh, then it will uh, add the result over here, okay? And we will do this using our uh, JavaScript uh, functionality, okay? And this is the label for our category. Here you can see uh, there is deep, which is for category, okay? And we do have a save button. So once you use a click save, so it will what it will do it will call our post function to update the uh, inventory for this item okay so let's go ahead and create our uh, post function uh, to our inventory uh, controller let's copy this and paste it here and here we're going to receive inventory so inventory just change the name to inventory so what we have to do we have to get the uh, inventory from our table that we need to Edit. Okay, so here we have inventory dot ID, right? So that means the user want to edit this one which we are loading over here. Okay, so here what we're going to do, uh, we'll go ahead and update all the field. Okay, and then we need to save save those to our database. So we'll go ahead and use context dot inventories dot update, which is this copy paste it here and then save this. And we did save the changes right there. And then here we'll remove this. So now we complete our edit post function. So make sure you type here HTTP post. So now uh, friends, let's go ahead and implement our javascript so then uh, we can operate this functionality in from our view okay let's go here i will go ahead and copy the code for our uh, javascript functionality so friends here you can see the code for our uh, javascript so what we did uh, as you can see we did have the uh, id for our input fields here you can see uh, this is the ID for our quantity fields, and then uh, this is the ID for uh, this field right there. Okay, and then when you click on this add function, and this is the on click function we're going to call from JavaScript. So when you click this, you can see this function triggered. And here, what we are doing, we are getting the current uh, quantity from our quantity field right there, and then we are getting the updated quantity right uh, the adding quantity over here uh, storing here right and then we are getting add button from here and then get current quantity dot value equal to so we are updating our current quantity adding this and this over here now let me make it bigger right there okay and now we have the updated value and then we making the uh, updated uh, current quantity dot value equal equal to zero which is this one right there and then making it disabled because the user already had added the item to our current quantity. And then we're making this button again disabled and returning back. And then now what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and click on save. So let me see if our functionality is working or not. And now we have five pieces right there. So once we added 100 more, so that will be 105. I'll go ahead and click 105. So now you can see um, we have updated quantity over here and this button is disabled and this turn into zero okay and now to save this we have to click on save so then it will update our database okay so let me go ahead and click save you can see our index function could get called so click on continue so we do see the updated quantity in our inventory list here you can see 105 so this is how we uh, need to process to edit our uh, current inventory quantity okay so friends here you can see uh, we have product with the same name so in our next video uh, we'll go ahead and uh, you know implement a logic so then user not allowed to have same product name for two items okay so every item should be unique in our inventory okay so friend let's say uh, we have only two pieces for hilsha fish so if user go back to home page right uh, you can see here uh, we have hilsha piece that we can add it to our cart so here you can see uh, we only have two pieces but here user can 
are able to add it more than two pieces. So from our next video, we will try to implement another logic so then user not able to add more item than the available quantity or user may not able to do checkout, right? May not able to submit an order if the inventory is less than the order quantity. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next tutorial. Please do share, like, and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.